Good morning, Lake Braddock. Today is Monday, October 21st, and it's a gold even day. We're your hosts today. I'm Lily Simpson. And I'm Marin Charles. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Moon Cave, Cave, where we bring the news you crave. crave. We've got a great show for you today. Stay tuned after announcements for a story about how students are hiding their rapes. But first, would you please pause for the moment of silence? As you may or may not know, Lake Braddock was vandalized for a second time on Thursday, October 10th. This time, it was on the back of the school. The vandals wrote foul language, and the police are actively investigating. This news was written by Campbell Johnson and Christine Zakova. We have more news for you after these announcements. Middle School Girls Lacrosse Club meets on Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. in the cafeteria. Players from all levels are welcome, including brand new players. Equipment provided or bring your own. Contact Coach Lewis for more information. Battle of the Books is coming. Beginning in October, you can register to join this year-long reading challenge for you and your class team. Who will win the reading grade for you, Cup? All in 7th and 8th graders can participate. Please see the middle school librarians for more information, or go to the library's website and click on the Battle of the Books. As Bruins, you know that helping others is part of who we are. And you can help a homeless person stay warm this winter with your donation of pairs of new socks. As, as part of the Bruin in Action capstone, we are asking for students to consider donating pairs of new socks to your math class beginning Tuesday, October 15th. Your donations will be distributed to the agencies that assist the homeless in Northern Virginia, and you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a pizza lunch with Dr. Smith. See your math teacher for more details. In other news, here's a recent video from the NBC4 Today show about how students are hiding vaping pens in plain sight. I get to work. Here's one that's designed to look just like a black marker stashing stuff all over the classroom. So this guy looks like a USB. It's not. It's a vape. And on students, too. Sophia looks like she's just wearing a regular hoodie, but underneath, a vaping device. And now to your five-day forecast. Well, the show is over. Have a great day, Lake Braddock. See you next time on The Brewing Cave.